In today's video, I want to take a step back in time, but rather than going to some miscellaneous point in Apple's history, I wanna go to the most significant point in my Apple history, and that is by unboxing my first ever Apple product that I personally owned, and that was the fourth generation iPod Touch. I have, I mean, this is not my original one because obviously I've, I've had that for 11 years, but this one is brand new, sealed in its original packaging and was even manufactured during the same week that I got my original iPod Touch back in 2010. This is a lot of nostalgia. Let's get started. Just looking at the iconic iPod Touch packaging, but sealed after 11 years, wow, it's, it's really incredible. So this particular iPod Touch actually took quite a bit of work to get a hold of because, I mean, there were a lot of factors at play and I wanted this unboxing to be as authentic as possible. And this actually ended up being the third sealed iPod Touch fourth generation that I bought. So you might be wondering, why did it take three attempts? Well, let me show you attempt number one. It's this, and I know what you're thinking. Wow, looks pretty good, right? You, the back is super duper shiny and nice. Well, um, this is a fake iPod Touch. They had a real clear shell but with fake internal packaging, and this iPod Touch is not real. Even though it looks like it has a real back, the engravings on the bottom are fake. The font is wrong. There's a little bit of glue inside the camera lens. The home button isn't seated properly. It seems like a ton of effort to go to, and then they put it in this really lazy packaging and the serial numbers don't even match, so I don't know why they did that. And I just I just don't understand it. It was 60 bucks, I got my money back and I moved on to iPod Touch number two. And that is this. Now this one is real. This is an actual fourth generation iPod Touch. However, if I put these two next to each other, you might spot some differences, mainly here on the home screen. This iPod Touch, is on iOS 5. So then I went back on eBay, found this one with the original iOS 4 wallpaper and ran the serial number on this when it arrived and that pulled up a date from December 2010, which is when I got my fourth generation iPod Touch for my 12th birthday and oh boy, here we are almost exactly 11 years later and I'm gonna do it again. I absolutely love the packaging style for iPods from this era. I think it's really cool the way that it's just sitting there on display. Uh, this wasn't the first time that Apple had done this. If we look at the iPod Touch second generation, even though it's a little bit different shaped, you can see it's sort of the same basic idea, but I think the fourth generation did it the best. Okay, so to get inside of this thing, we have a little pull tab here on the top of the device. Let's go ahead and peel that back. Oh man, and there it is. First time in 11 years, we're now opening the iPod Touch. Oh, the adhesive seems to have broken down slightly and it got kind of attached to the packaging, but there it is. And wow, would you look at that back casing? This is why I wanted to get a sealed one of these because you never see them look this pristine and shiny. So let's set the iPod off to the side here and take a look at the rest of the packaging. Now, if I remember correctly, which I do because I vividly remember how excited I was when I unboxed this originally 11 years ago, there's not a whole lot else in here. So if we open up this little flap here, we have our usual documentation booklet. And then we also have 
our uh, ear pods and our 30 pin connector. Now these are actually are not ear pods. They're just earbuds. They're the round style. The ear pods didn't really come out until 2012 and these things are awful. One of the first things I did when I unboxed my iPod Touch was listen to a song on these and they absolutely hurt my ears and they sounded terrible and I never used them again. So here we have our documentation and some absolutely minuscule little Apple stickers. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. These are adorable, look at them. They're so little. And then here we have our teeny tiny little documentation booklet which highlights some, some features from iOS 4, you know, folders, multitasking, and then the big headline features for this generation were the cameras, the addition of FaceTime, really, really big stuff going on here. And then of course we have iTunes information. This is still an iPod after all. Okay, so now let's move over to the iPod itself. And specifically, I need to figure out a way to get this thing out of here and, and, and basically not touch it. Cause I don't want to smudge this back and I want to get some really spicy B-roll of a brand new fourth gen iPod touch. So I've got this. It's my Apple microfiber cloth that I saved from my Retina MacBook Pro that I bought in 2015. And we're going to be using this to help us keep everything nice and clean. Let's go ahead and peel this off. Ooh, that is satisfying. You could tell this is an early iPod touch because we actually have four of these little flaps on the later versions that shipped in 2011 and 2012 with iOS 5. They didn't have the top and bottom flap. It was just on the sides. But let's see if we can go ahead and pull this out. I'm still handling this thing without actually touching it and I'm kind of dreading having to ruin this with my grubby little fingerprints. So let's see if I can get this off without touching it. Wow, that was hard to take off. And it left a residue. I got the MacBook Air here, the, the first generation that I forgot that I patched all the way up to Catalina. So I don't even know if this is gonna work, but let's find out. We're in. Okay, so uh, software is iOS 4.2.1. We've now got a sync in progress, slide to unlock. Ah! Oh man. Oh man. Wow. It's been, it's been 11 years since I've seen this. That's crazy. Thank you, MacBook Air. Catalina was still able to activate an iOS 4 device. How about that? The fourth generation iPod Touch was less an iPod and more an iPhone for less money without cellular capabilities. It was basically the same. We have the same retina display, the same A4 chip that was in the iPhone 4. It has dual cameras, front and rear facing. It has a 30 pin connector and a headphone jack on the bottom. This is an iPhone 4, but with the headphone jack on the right end of the device, and no cellular connectivity. And that was fantastic, but it also kind of spelled the demise of the iPod as Apple's big moneymaker. When this thing was unveiled back in 2010, Steve Jobs only spent a couple of minutes talking about the device, and most of what he said was what I just said, that it was features moved over from the iPhone. So this was the best iPod touch, but it was also when iPods just started to be more like iPhones and then people didn't really feel the need to buy iPod touches because they would just buy iPhones instead. If you look at sales figures for the iPod over time, 2010 was just over the hump, right when sales started to decline. And ever since, the iPod has been essentially an unnecessary product. But this, in my opinion, was its pinnacle. All right, we are activated. We are charged. Let's open up a brand new 11 year old iPod touch. Ah, that sound, it's so glorious. And wow, you know, I have to say this screen 
still looks really, really good. I mean, this iPod really changed the game. It was so freaking good when it came out. $230, you got a retina display, you got two cameras, you got an A4 chip, the same as the iPhone, although it was configured slightly differently with less RAM. Uh, and you got iOS 4 just like the iPhone. You know what? I do feel like I need to go into the settings here and set it with the wallpaper that I used. Now, I think I used this one for a little while. I definitely remember using this one, but I think, I think we'll set it to here. I think this was what I initially used as the wallpaper on my iOS 4 iPod Touch. Wow, this this is kind of crazy. I gotta be very careful picking this up because I still need B-roll, but let's go ahead and take a, let's try out this front-facing camera because this was, of course, a VGA camera. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad. Let's do a picture here. Oh dear, that's, that's very terrible. And the front-facing camera, well, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Say cheese. All right, I took a picture of you. Uh, also, our battery appears to be very wonky because it said it was fully charged and now I'm at 20%. So, yeah, it's not really good for lithium ion batteries to sit in a box for 11 years. It really does bring back a lot of nostalgia. And if you like looking at old, unboxed, un-unboxed Apple products, you're gonna wanna get subscribed because I've got something else coming that is gonna be a lot of fun. I won't say what it is, but let's just say it's an old sealed Mac. Get subscribed, turn on notifications. It hasn't arrived yet, but I, I really can't wait for that video. Thank you for joining me on this nostalgia-filled journey back in time to the fourth generation iPod Touch. I'll leave you guys with just a couple of additional B-roll shots of this absolutely beautiful device. Thank you guys so much for watching.